Kramer? Miss Kramer? You left the door unlocked. Oh, Mr. Kramer, it's 8.30. Come on, rise and shine. The whole world's all... Hey, I thought you and uh, David were going skiing for a couple of days. Yeah, well, he decided to ride the lift with someone else, which is fine. With the way I ski, I could get more of a thrill standing fully clothed under a cold shower. Look at this. I'll always remember the time we spent together. P.S., could you please return my tape of Annie Hall? Why didn't I see this coming? Are you sure you didn't? Meaning what, that I wanted it to end? I don't know. Did you? I just thought this time... <laughs> hey, you're here early. I got a call from Commissioner Winslow up in Jersey. They found another body. As soon as I can round everyone up, we're on our way. You still want a couple of days off? Could be all right. Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Could you, uh... Yeah, I'll have the printouts ready. Thanks. It'd be quicker if you just put a gun to your head and pulled. You need fiber. I wanted fiber, I need a blanket. I'll be serving up aggravation with the chili, and I'll take my business elsewhere. Ned Platt, you are a mule. Buy yourself some granola, pour it in a bowl with milk. It'll only hurt a minute. I don't eat at home anymore, not since Betty died. We can have breakfast at my place. In bed. Hello. Rita, I've got grandchildren. you got grandchildren. They can fix their own breakfast. That's for Ned. Yeah. Deceased Richard Allen Kramer was found this morning. Benford police believe he's the fourth in a series of murders committed by the same unknown subject. Obviously, we don't have an ME report on Kramer, but uh, the cause of death of the previous three was asphyxiation by ligature. In all four cases, the bodies were mutilated and sexual organs removed. We don't know whether that was done post-mortem or pre. All were killed in their homes, victims of choice. Forced entry? Uh, ground floor windows. We are in the process of accessing personal backgrounds on the three previous victims. Socioeconomic, um, political involvements. Oh, there was some question as to the sexual preference of the three earlier victims, but right now there is no evidence to indicate that any of them was gay. Well, what about Kramer? We don't know yet, Ned. Fact is, we haven't been able to establish any connection between the victims except in regard to the manner of their deaths. 
Grayson. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, Commissioner. Uh, hey, Alan. Be on the scene Got an extra in, uh, pen. Full tip or ball point? Ball. Blue, green, or red? Blue. Permanent or erasable? Well, that won't be necessary, sir. Uh, we're bringing our own equipment. Invisible. Well, uh, we'd like to uh, get a look at the crime scene and then... Yes, that's right. You know, Ned, um, the computer would be a much more efficient way to uh, categorize informational bytes. No, I... You're right, Norma. I think we'll be able to handle But I've been categorizing my informational bytes this way for the 40 most years. Thing is to I'll tell you what. Someday you can tell your kids you worked with a genuine That's right. dinosaur. That's right. Um, great. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. That was Commissioner Winslow from Benford. You gonna be a problem? You know, he's jumping through the hoops for us. He's got to have a speechwriter that's paid by the word. I just hope he doesn't turn this investigation into a photo op. He did say this was going to be a photo opportunity. Don't oh, forget the suits, Jimmy. We got a circus here. Excuse me. Where's the detective in charge? He's not here yet. Is this your detail? Traffic. Traffic. See Sturiano over there. The guy's mate came running to him down the block. He called it in, and here we are. Listen, Wesley, I'm going to check around outside. I'm useless in here with all these people. I need photographs of Kramer, family shots from when he was alive, whatever. I'll come back tonight. Clear access. Yeah, go ahead. I'll get the equipment. What the hell is going on here? Same thing I've been asking myself for the past 20 minutes. Who are you? John Wesley Grayson, criminal profiling unit, Justice Department. Joe and his homicide. Yeah, the commissioner said he'd send you guys down. Yeah, I'd love to chat, but I got a murder on my hands. You got a convention on your hands. Does anybody know where the body is? John! Where's the body? Behind the couch, Joe. Is that where you found him? I got here a little late. One of the reporters rolled him back. Arrest the jerk. Joe. Arrest him! I already did. It won't stick, but the house will make the others keep their mitts okay. off the evidence. I want this room clear. I want prints from every cop and every reporter in here. And leave the body... You want there. prints of my people? You access them from personnel. Your commissioner promised us complete cooperation. He's running for mayor. I don't care if he's running for president. We came to this town with a job to do. Now, we can either do it with your cooperation or without it. If we don't get it, let's hope your uniform still fits. Everybody out! Everybody! Nobody leaves till they get printed. Like the good book says, go from the presence of a foolish man that thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. Don't bother wasting your time on an idiot. All right. Let's see what we can salvage from this mess. <laughs> Ligature appears to have been a belt, indentations at approximately 10 centimeters, possibly rivets or studs in the ligature. Also seems to be powdery residue, advise analysis. Width of ligature, 4.7 centimeters, depth of grooves, approximately one to four. Estimate pressure of two to 300 pounds per square inch to leave grooves of this depth. No histolic evidence of vital reaction to the genital excision indicating mutilation was carried out post-mortem. Do we have any latents? So far, I've got at least 12 right hands. We should do a cross-match to separate out the police officers and the reporters. Vessels unbroken. Absence of petechiae indicates manual strangulation, not free hanging.
wanted here, I wanted here by 6 o'clock. I'd like to bring another man in from Washington to go through the house. For what? Well, there's a possibility that Kramer may have been homosexual. If he was, the house should have the evidence to support it. My guys can do the search. Thanks, gentlemen. You guys have already done enough. Why don't you just shine that puppy all around his door jam? Hold, hold it right there. I thank God every day he's allowed me to live in the age of high technology. Match your bedroom was turned upside down. Burglary? I don't know. I do believe we've got an unsub who's wearing surgical gloves. May have had a tear in one of them. Your surgical gloves had talc inside them. There were talc smudges in the bureau drawer, and I think we have one here. Eight to five, you get a match, Joe. I, I don't have my tape measure. Here, use mine. I'd guess our unsub's about five foot ten. You mean you know he's five foot ten? Well, this says four seven. Well, see, here's the way I figure it. Shower is still wet upstairs. Tall, too. I'm probably just as wrong about this as I could be. But let's suppose that the unsub had to wait for the guy to get out of the shower. Now, he might have put his hand on the jam, you know, kind of resting. See, most folks do that with their hand at about shorter height. That would make him about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, tops. Just another bite for the file. Sexual, homophobic, homicide, home. Where's your home? Are you safe there? As safe as your victims thought they were in theirs? What does your home look like? Do you like colors? Soft, soothing. Or are they like you? Dark, colorless. A deep hole where your hatred festers. <sighs> Did you bury them in the backyard or are they on your mantelpiece, you twisted pervert? Kramer was physically strong, but he didn't struggle. He could have fought, and he should have, but he didn't. Why didn't he? smile with people who were supposed to be his friends, yet he trusted the man who killed him. He had no reason to be afraid. Till it was too late. Did you get control samples? Of his wife's hair, their two sons, and the cleaning lady who found the body. run a spectral analysis of the specimens, but we can't get a DNA print without... A hair follicle from the victim. I've already called the ME. Can I get you some water, Mrs. Kramer? It's just hay fever. 
I'm not in mourning. You were unhappy with your husband? Being unhappy would imply there was a relationship. How would you describe him? Domineering, selfish, insensitive. For 25 years, he went out of his way to make sure I knew about his affairs. His heterosexual affairs. My husband was not a homosexual. Ma'am, uh, please don't take this the wrong way, but are you sure you'd know? You said you had no relationship. He was not a homosexual. There are any number of women within a 50-mile radius who can testify to that. Did he have any close friends? You have to make an effort to have friends. Richard was unwilling to do it. Did he have any enemies? You have to make an effort to have those, too. Mrs. Kramer, were you aware that your husband had three accounts at the Bank of Northern New Jersey? We always banked at Benford National. Well, our investigators found three North Jersey passbooks in a crawl space behind his closet, totaling $148,000. That's impossible. When I needed a car last year, he said we couldn't afford it. Well, the point is this, Mrs. Kramer. If he was able to keep his account secret from you, perhaps there were other aspects of his life of which you were also unaware. Mrs. Kramer, you stayed with a man who neglected and abused you. You stayed with him for 25 years. Do you mind if I ask you why? When I was young, I thought I was in love with him. When I realized I wasn't, I thought I could change him. When I realized I couldn't, I had no place else to go. I actually found myself feeling sorry for her. Then I thought, wait a minute, I, she was a fool. Now, for 25 years, she deluded herself into believing that there was some kind of relationship to be had with a man who didn't give a damn about what Careful, she needed Madison, to... Careful, you're projecting. Don't start on me. I'm hey, I wasn't the one who started anything. Now, listen, why is it that I'm always the one being put under the microscope? Well, why don't we ever talk about you and women? Because I don't take them seriously. Right. A couple of nights to determine there are no communicable diseases, night of mutual moistness, and adios. Don't knock them until you've tried it. You're not my type. I wasn't advertising. Look, we've got a case to deal with here, and you're taking your eye off the ball. Anytime you want to compare batting averages, I'm ready. You know, with David, I thought, at last, here is someone who doesn't need me to pull him out of an emotional everglade. Of course, the fact that he memorized Danny Hall should have tipped me off that it wasn't The guy's exactly. not a living monument to psychosis. You don't want him. Before David, it was... Bill. Yeah. The, the podiatrist with the irrational fear of milk. What, it wasn't irrational? I just want to know why it is so difficult to find a mutually satisfying relationship. Because you don't want a relationship. You want a project. A guy goes out with you and he feels like next month he's going to read about himself in psychology today. Oh. I cross my legs and I think, whoa, whoa, what's he thinking when I do that? But then I figure, well, wait a minute, maybe I should uncross him, but I don't because I'm worried about what that means. I'm getting phlebitis. That's your problem, Dr. Steele. No, it's yours. You analyze the hell out of everything and you don't know what you want. If you didn't have a terrific brain and a fabulous butt, you'd be without any redeeming value at all. And don't read into it. It was an observation. You're not my type. So you've said. Control sample of victim's hair is compatible with hair taken from his bathrobe. Cleaning lady is also compatible. Huh. Non-compatible? Not with anything we have. Now, Kramer, his wife, his two sons, the cleaning lady. Nora with a strand we presume came from our unsub. Move over, honey. Let me see. Oh, good reason. That's not a human hair. Canine. I didn't know Kramer had a dog. According to the report, he didn't. Yeah. What, what, what? Yeah, thanks, Alan. Well, we have German shepherd hairs on Kramer's robe. 
didn't have a dog. Were there shepherd hairs on other victims? Anybody? Victims one and three had dogs. You expect to find hair on them. Shepard? Don't know. I'll have Alan and Norman run a cross match. Ann, what have you got in the unsub? Brownish hair, about 5'10". Immensely strong to have exerted that kind of pressure on the victim's necks. One of those muscle-bound guys? Bodybuilder, maybe. Well, we're maybe clear on what he looks like. I want to know who he is. Well, we can't really say with any real certainty about any of I'm asking you what you think. We're probably talking ritual. Amputation of the sexual organs was something he couldn't control. The mutilations were more important than the murder? I say the unsub's a homophobe. The mutilations were punishment. Wrong. Wrong? What? I'm not entitled to an opinion, Anne? In the first place, there's nothing that indicates Kramer or any of the other victims were gay. Secondly, if the unsub was a homophobe, he wouldn't have taken the organs. He would have left them on the scene. Uh, well, my bet is we find the guy, we find his trophies. You got a hook on the personality? Well, I'm not really sure, but we could be talking borderline personality disorder. What, gender identity problem? Closeness uh, or rejection by a parent? We, we know the victims were loners. Was he one, too? I think I'll just kind of go out and reconnoiter. Kramer had to have talked to somebody, even if it was his pump jockey or the place where he bought his smokes. The guy set up deliberate misleads, the bogus forced entry in the burglary? Or is that a no also? Hey, we got any garlic lovers here. Go easy on that stuff, Jimmy. So you think the victims knew their killer? Absolutely. How? How would four men with nothing in common know the same unsub and willingly let them into their house? Well, maybe the unsub's a handyman, plumber, electrician. The belt he used to strangle him had rivets on it. Now, rivets are what hold the loops that handymen hang their tools from. Or, you know, maybe he was military. I didn't know borderlines had pets. If this unsub had a shepherd. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they kill them. We're talking borderline here, Ann, not conjecture. Give me some specifics. I don't have any. If the guy had a shepherd, and it's not a pet, what is it? A tool? Ne never mind. I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Ne never mind. No, no, no. No, Jimmy, what, what do you mean? Well, OK. Maybe the unsub used the dog to gain access, OK? You know, maybe he trains the dog to, uh, to sit by the victim's door, you know, crying like he's hurt or he's lost or something, you know? And then, when the victim opens the door, boom, he's on him. But I, I don't know. Never mind. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. No. Uh, that's good, Jim. Thanks. I need some air. Joy humiliating me in there? You contributed nothing. And what you did offer were a bunch of could be's, and sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. It's not an exact science. It's no excuse. You know, one of the reasons that makes you so good is that you know you're good. At least you used to think so. I'm just trying to make sure I'm on the right track before I. Put yourself on the line? I'm not going to have the efficiency of this unit paralyzed because you're insecure over a broken relationship. That's what you're doing, isn't it? I'm doing the job, Wes. And the price I pay is an empty apartment and TV dinner at 3 in the morning? If your apartment's empty, it's because you want it to be. It's your responsibility to strike the balance. And don't use the job as a crutch. I did that. 
I was on a job once in New Mexico. I was gone for about six weeks. It seemed like a couple of days. So I went home and I told my wife, I said, honey, that's my job. This is what I do. As if that was the justification. What I'd done was to relegate my marriage to second place. She didn't deserve that. Now I've got another family. And I'm not going to make that mistake again. Get your third Dear John letter of the year, you start asking yourself questions. Well, the answer's simple. They don't know what they missed. I still say he's classic borderline. And the thing about the pet doesn't muddy the water, we just haven't connected all the dots yet. Severe gender confusion, physically strong, highly aggressive and ritualistic, and tortured as hell. There's no reason to think he's gonna stop killing now. Good if you like that sort of thing. I do. I used to lift weights. Now you just press your luck. <laughs> it's very funny. I like that. Funny. <laughs> 20 reps at 235, personal bus. Oh, excuse me, I bought that drink for her. Oh, it looks like you wasted your money. They made a movie about you two, didn't they? Get lost, jerk. Oh, I'm sure they did. It was a uh, Western, a big hit. I said get out of here. Oh, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. What was it? Uh... Now I remember. Butch and Sundance. You're gonna buy that or commit it to memory? <laughs> Gotta protect yourselves these days. Hear about that guy who lived down the block getting killed? Kramer. Was that his name? I didn't know him. Three years he comes in every night for a pint of pistachio ice cream and a pack of smokes. I ordered pistachio for him special. Two weeks ago, a couple of punks beat up my night manager, so he's going to lose an eye, and they grabbed the cash. Now, Crame is coming in as they're going out, and he's got to see them, right? The cops asked him to testify, and he said, no, he don't want to. No kidding. Now, my guy's going to lose an eye, and Kramer don't want to get involved. Now he gets killed. As far as I'm concerned, it's divine attribution. Retribution. What? Good talking to you. Hey, uh, you like pistachio? I got three cases. Snap. There's a next time I won't stop her from tearing you apart. <laughs> Kramer refused to testify because he was threatened. The punks at the grocery store decided they couldn't take any chances. So they killed him. 
Well, I wouldn't explain the mutilation. Well, the other three killings were well publicized, weren't they? So you think it was camouflage? They killed Kramer, then mutilated him to make it look like the others. It's been known to happen. Kramer didn't struggle. And he didn't struggle because he knew his killer and he wasn't afraid. He would have been afraid of the punks, Westy. He would have at least struggled. Punch up the file on victim one. What are you thinking? Well, we know the victims were all loners, isolated from family, neighborhood. Let's assume the killer knew that, too. How? I don't know how, Tony. Let's just assume. Now, the guy at the store said Kramer didn't want to testify because he didn't want to get involved. Now, if the killer knew that, he may have known the same thing about the other victims, too. Victim number one, William Terry. According to this, you could look in the dictionary under Hermit and find his picture. Police record? No record of anything. He didn't even have a phone on his... His what? Witness to a hit-and-run homicide November 17th. Questioned but refused to testify. Victim number two. Do you know what it's like to do everything you can to please someone? And no matter what you do, it's never enough. It can never be enough. climbing trees. I had six stitches in my chin when I fell one time. I saved them. But I could always... I could look in his eyes and see the disappointment. Even when I graduated from the academy, it wasn't enough. He wanted somebody as strong as him. You know, somebody who could teach everybody how to be a man. Only now he's gone. And I have to do it alone. Witness three, John Lewis Bergamo. Witness to attempted rape, 1388. Refused to testify. Ernie flew in to supervise Kramer's autopsy. There was a subcutaneous contusion on the lower left mandible, inconsistent with the application of ligature. Chokehold. The autopsies of the other three victims didn't show any evidence of a chokehold. That's probably because the local M.E. didn't look past the ligature. We're looking for someone who lives a structured life, wears a military-type belt, knows how to mislead an investigation, can apply a chokehold, and has access to information about his victims' relationships to crime. I think our unsub is a cop. <laughs> I'm a class clown. Ray Rendazzo has been with this department 17 years. Officer Rendazzo the... questioned two of the four victims, Joe. His name's on the report. I don't care whose name's on the report. He fits our profile to a T. Shove your profiles. I know the guy. Is he on? He's 5'10. He's strong. He's got a violence quotient that goes off the end of the scale. He's got a short fuse, is what it is. He's undergone IA evaluation for unnecessary and extreme violence, not once, but three times. He need a suspect in the groin for spilling coffee on his desk. There's stress in this job. You want to charge him? You get yourself a warrant, because I'm not lifting a finger against a good cop. I know how you feel, Joe. 
We come riding into town on our white horses. I understand your frustration, but bringing in Randazzo is just to talk to him. Real quiet. No reporters. Low key. No embarrassment to him, no embarrassment to the department. I just want to stop these killings, as I know you do. Officer Rendazzo, we've sort of hit a wall on this one. And we thought since you had spoken with two of the victims... Flying balls. The only chance we had to nail those perps, and they wouldn't stand up like men and testify. What do you mean, like men? And? I want to know what he means. If I said like women, I don't think you know what the hell I was talking about. I could tell you what you were talking about. Uh, did they let you into their homes? Not right off the bat, but once I started putting on the pressure, then they let me How'd in. How'd like... you put on the pressure? Intimidation? Threats? Look, lady, get off my back, all right? I didn't rough them up, if that's what you mean. Although I should have. They give you any reason why they wouldn't testify? Yeah, they didn't want it. They didn't want the hassle. It's the same old story. Well, they got no hassles now. Officer Rendazzo. Uh, Ray, thanks very much for coming by to talk to us. Appreciate it. I've been sitting around a squad room bored to death. Hey, you got kids? Yeah, I got four. They like dogs? Yeah, they love them. Listen, I got a shepherd. Just gave birth to six pups. And I'm looking for a real good home. Can't do it. I get within 50 feet of dog hair. I start sneezing so hard, I blow my brains out. Thanks, though. You bet. At least this time you can't accuse me of not committing. This time I was just wrong. I was, too, but I didn't take the guy's head off. Maybe our unsub's not a cop. Maybe he's not. Which means we're back at square one. Mr. Michael Karsich? Yeah? Officer Samuels, Mr. Karsich. I'd like to ask you a few questions about the assault on Mrs. Ardell McCarthy. Look, I told the other cop, and I'll tell you, I didn't see anything. Would it be possible to discuss this inside? It'll only take a couple of minutes. I didn't see anything, and that's the end of it. You know, people get distracted, you know? If I could just talk to you inside. Who are you talking to, Mike? Talking to another cop. You already talked to the cops. I know, that's what I'm telling her. Seems like this is an inconvenient time. Yeah, it's inconvenient. Sorry to have bothered you. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Alan. We have a cross match on all the hairs found on the other victims. German Shepherd. And the guy's a cop. We don't know that he is. We don't know that he isn't. Cop, German Shepherd hairs. I checked the canine squad as soon as I got the first word about the dog. There were four officers, three of which were above six foot and had blonde or black hair. Not even a pimple on their psychological profile. What about the fourth? Statistically outside the realm. What the hell does that mean? She's female. Well, over 98% of serial killers are male, and 3% of the female population is 5'10 or above, so... You... you didn't open her file because she was female? I didn't open her file. Uh, I don't care about the statistics. Does she fit the profile? Oh, come on, Ann. Oh, my God. Mr. Cavasangian, I'm Officer Samuels. Is Mrs. Cavasangian home? Nobody's home. She's shopping. She'll be back in half an hour. She wrecked the car? No, nothing like that. I wonder if I could wait for her. She won the police department raffle, and uh, I need her signature so we can release her prize. What did she win? The TV. No kidding. Yeah, sure. Come on in. TV, huh? 
One of them wide screens. Joe, what shift is Karen Samuels on? Look, I made a jerk out of myself with Randazzo because of you. Now you want me to bring her in? I mean, don't you learn from your mistakes? She's on the canine squad. Yeah, I know. She'd have hair on her clothes. That was shepherd hair on all the victims. She's five foot ten. She's got brown hair. Her file says she's a weightlifter. Joe, what shift is she on? She's on duty right now. Give me a location. I want a 20 on Karen Samuels, stat. Joe, have you had any incidents in the past 24 hours? Anything serious, assaults, robberies, anything? Yeah, what? Officer Samuels must have turned off her radio. We can't give you a 20. She turned off her radio. I heard, I heard. We did have an assault on a Mrs. R. Dell McCarthy. Somebody beat her to within an inch of her life. Witnesses. Uncooperative witnesses. I want units rolling to two residences. Carthage at 208 McKinley and Cavazanchia at 1217 Ohio. Now. 1217 Ohio. Which one's closest to the motel? Ohio. <laughs> Damn it! Where's Samuels? We can't contact. She switched off her radio. Where does she live? Somewhere on the west side. I want the press the hell out of here, and I want this place sealed off now! Cars out back, she's in the apartment. I want all exits covered. You coming? I want this house cleared out. I want this street sealed off. She won't be taking peace of mind. We're wearing vests. Let's go. You're under arrest. Murder one. Crackle! For God's sakes, Karen, that dog was your partner. So what? Give it up. Come on. Come on, come on and fight. Come on and put down your guns and fight. Come on, there are four of you. Let's see what you got. You're supposed to be men. God, you make me sick. You make my father sick. Work with them. You call yourself mad? You make me sick. You search this apartment, I bet you find those amputated body parts. What the hell are you talking about? Well, you gotta be a better man than anyone else. Gotta have the trophies to prove it. Preliminary report on Karen Samuels by New Jersey State Psychiatrist indicates classic borderline severe gender confusion. You were right. There's no indication of that. 
been feeling insecure over a broken relationship. Stop trusting my instincts. Because of that, somebody died. Somebody died. <laughs> Say something, Wes. That was my mea culpa. If you want absolution, you're going to have to get in line with the rest of us. Hmm? You know, sometimes I feel like the shoemaker's kid. I'm the one that always goes barefoot. <laughs> Got everybody else figured out, but... I'm going home. Severe gender confusion. Initiated by a father who wanted, and these are Karen's words, the son that every father wants. Thank you.